do y'all see these curls do y'all see these curls do you i know you see these curls i know you do i know you do like what 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 girl let's get into these curls okay let's get into this hello hello are you there are you there <laughs> Hey guys, it's Crystal O and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did my wash and go. This is my first time ever doing a wash and go. Like, I don't even know why it's my first time because this like turned out amazing. I've always been intimidated by wash and goes because I felt like it was for people who had like curlier hair, looser curls, you know, maybe like mixed hair. But your girl pulled it off with 4C hair and I am proud to share that I was able to do that and hopefully I can inspire another black brown 4C hair girl at home who needs inspiration on, you know, doing a wash and go and not having to do a twist out, but instead just doing a style like this and leaving the the house within what an hour 30 minutes so without further ado let's go ahead and get started but before we do before we do housewarming rules okay go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're new here turn on post or video notifications and follow me on Instagram because that's where it really gets popping it gets to pop it okay if you like reels if you like fashion vogue shoot you know stuff and just all things me you can feel free to follow there so let's go ahead and get started with this video so I'm gonna go ahead and be using Aunt Jackie's don't shrink flaxseed elongating curling gel I'm going to be using this Devon brush that I got from Walmart it was super cheap and it works really well so definitely would recommend I'm gonna be using this leave-in conditioner that I purchased at a beauty supply don't really know when or why but I was told it was good I'm gonna be using this edge control Love, love, love this edge control. I'm gonna have my towel nearby just in case I have some water dripping. And I'm going to be using this spray bottle that I got on Amazon to spray moisture onto my hair as needed. I will link this below and add it to my Amazon store so you guys can check it out. All right, so I'm starting off with freshly washed hair. I'm gonna go ahead and add some water to it as well as some leave-in conditioner. I'm just gonna spritz it all around and I'm going to just rub it in as I go. As you can see, we got some moisture going. After this, I'm just gonna basically show you what my hair looks like before, so you guys can kind of tell the difference with the after. That's what the back looks like. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this process started. So I'm gonna go ahead and start sectioning off pieces of my hair. I'm gonna start with smaller pieces, and I'm gonna use this much gel please use generously from what I've learned I'm just gonna be generous with it because from what I've noticed the more you use the better I believe but you know we'll see we'll see so I'm gonna go ahead and take my demon brush and just go ahead and brush through and as I'm brushing through I'm just kind of watching how my hair is responding to the gel obviously I do notice that I like kind of what's going on so I'm gonna continue brushing through until I get the curl pattern or the blend in with the gel that I'm desiring so as you can see the curls are starting to pop yes so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of continue on with my hair and I'm going to do the exact same routine. I'm going to apply the gel and I'm going to kind of detangle almost as well with my Demon brush. And then I'm going to go ahead and move on to other pieces as needed. And what I also noticed with the sides is that they don't really need to be brushed out. What I found is that even whenever I just applied gel to the sides, like without brushing it out, it still gave me the effect that I wanted. Slow-mo so you guys can see kind of what I'm working with and what that texture is looking like as it's being brushed through with the gel. What I also really like about using the Aunt Jackie's curling gel is that my hair didn't look very like crunchy or dry when I was done with drying and styling. 
My hair still looked very, very juicy and my curls looked very healthy and I actually got complimented a lot on the health of my curls. So that was pretty exciting to see that on Jackie's curling gel doesn't really dry you out, but more so kind of gives you that, you know, moisture that you're needing with also the strength of keeping your curls intact and giving you a nice wash and go. So I really did appreciate that about this gel. So here's another texture shot. As you can see, I'm brushing through and my curls are forming, y'all. They are pushing through. The girls are pushing through, okay? They are doing what they're supposed to be doing and they are cooperating with me. If you are a 4C haired girl, you know the struggle of getting your hair to, you know, cooperate with you. Honestly, if you're natural, period, or if you just have hair on your head, you probably understand the struggle of getting your hair to cooperate with you. So huh, when it does cooperate, it's like a blessing. It's just the best thing ever. Kind of going through and just like pulling on parts of my hair that I feel have shrunk in a little bit. I'm also kind of taking my gel and literally just slobbing it on to different pieces of my hair just to get it more drenched in gel so that it will, you know, have a better form um, of curls. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. So I'm just gonna go through and just kind of go over areas that I want to enhance and kind of see more curl or definition from. So I'm literally just going to take my hands and just going to do the back. So my hair is cut low on the back so I don't have a lot of hair to brush or pull from and I just feel like honestly it gets the job done just by applying it since my hair is a lot shorter around the sides and the back. So the job was still done, you know but the front I did find was a lot more effective when I brushed it. Now I'm just going to go through the front one more time. I just feel like, you know, why not? It just could take a little bit more definition, I believe. I believe in the front. I really do believe in the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush through the front once again, just to see what's going on with it. And I'm just going to go ahead and brush again through this layer of the front just to kind of get that definition that I'm wanting. Since it is the first thing people see, I want it to look right. So I'm gonna go ahead and finger curl some pieces of my hair that I want to enhance a little bit more and just kind of get those curls popping in certain areas because it's already popping, but the finger curls definitely go a long way. I'm gonna take my toothpick comb and I'm just going to go ahead and pull upwards. So obviously you can tell my hair is a little leaning downwards, but once it dries, literally, it just dries perfectly. I just, I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pick it upwards from the root up. And as you can see, I'm just doing this very gently, trying to make sure that I'm not necessarily pulling it from the tips of the hair, but rather the root of the hair to kind of get that fuller, fluffier, kind of defined look. It's looking good so far. This is basically what it looked like before it dried. And now I'm going to let this bad boy dry and I will show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so this is basically the finished look. I did go ahead and take my handy dandy toothbrush as well as the edge control that I use and I did, as you can see, do my edges. Um, my hair is not dry. I don't know about you, but my 4C hair takes a while to dry. So I'm, you know, I'm probably gonna give or take the rest of the day for my hair to finish completely drying. Um, so as you can see, the top is drying pretty well. Um, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take my uh, long tooth combed pick, yeah? And I'm just gonna go ahead and fluff up just to kind of keep that volume in there because that's what we want. We want some volume, okay? But as you can see, it looks amazing and I think it turned out amazing. Typically, I'm always like nervous about watching goes because I feel like only people with like really loose curls or beautiful long curls can do them. But <laughs> sis, you can do it too with your 4C curls, okay? I feel like, you know, people would see these curls and be like, oh my gosh, what do you mix with? Black mixed with night, look, d that's it, period. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this, little tutorial from me and thought it was helpful go ahead and give me a thumbs up 
subscribe if you are new to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!